Hello world, welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the general skills challenge time machine. Let's get into it. What was I last working on? I remember writing a note to help me remember. You can download the challenge files here, challenge add zip. I already have them right here and I have them extracted. So let's go ahead and go into the file. And first thing we notice is that there's a .git directory. So this is a git repo technically. So we should be able to pull a commit history. Now for those of you who don't know, git is just a version control where you can upload your project changes to whatever you're coding, scripting, writing, it doesn't matter what and you can go to the cloud locally or whatever and it tracks those changes and you can actually revert back to a previous version because anytime you commit to your git repo or your git server it will save an iteration of your code before it was modified so if we double click on the dot git we can see this is kind of like the structure of a git directory right and we could probably find our flag somewhere in these files, but there's a much more intuitive way of doing this. We can simply use git commands in order to solve this. So how do we go about doing that? Well, I'll pull up my PowerShell terminal here. And as you can see, we are in the time machine challenge directory. So we need to actually navigate inwards towards the project directory itself for git. Uh, let's see, and here we are. So we're, we're in it right now. There's a couple of ways to do this with the git commands, and there's probably even more than that, but there's two main ways I want to show you. We can do git log, which will actually show us just a log of the commit history, and there was one commit, and there ends up being our flag. But the other way we could do it is git show, and that gives us a little more detail. It'll show us things such as diffs and all kinds of stuff. So we know what our flag is and we can see what this file was beforehand and after it was changed from the flag to be this is what I was working on but I need to look at my commit history to know why. If we had actually navigated through those files and looked at message.txt or we can just cat the current message.txt out right now we'll actually see that that's the message there is now. So before this message was in that file, the flag had actually been committed as the original message that was in message.txt. So that's how all that works. And we'll go ahead and copy our flag, which I don't believe I had said quite yet, but our flag ended up being time machine. And we'll paste it in and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.